Made is a tool that supports that part of a document's life cycle that happens after it's initially created. That is, things like proofreading, editing, and revision. It is marking-based and hence relevant to pen-based computing and things like a tablet PC. And it's designed to reflect the different roles that people play when they're interacting with these documents. Here what we see is the role of the person who's proofreading, where they have a copy of the document and they're marking it up in order to communicate to the editor or the author suggestions and, and comments on the general document. So you see the marks are left on top in handwritten form, contrast well with the typed background, and essentially this is sent back to the user. On the other hand, this representation we have here is the representation that would be seen by somebody actively editing a document, wanting to make changes. In this case, the marks or gestures that signify the edit changes are visible as you make them, but once you finish making the mark, the change takes place. This document is live as opposed to something that you're using for communications with uh, someone else. The gestures and marks are the same, the document's the same, but the purpose is different because the roles are different. Now, this is a very primitive system. It's slow. Um, it's not a real word processor, and it's driven by a mouse. But the underli underlying transactions are, in fact, representative of what we can imagine in a professional system. Now, here we see the two different versions side by side, and this is intended for a different type of context. On the left-hand side, we see a representation of the document, which is the marking and markup version, where we can do our annotations and so on and so forth, and they stay there. Um, they ha are persistent and nothing happens. But you'll notice on the right hand, with exactly the same document, another representation, when we make the gestures, just as we saw previously in the edit mode, they happen. It, this is live. Now, this, is situa this situation becomes relevant um, when we see that if you select the mark, it gets grayed out on the left-hand side, but actually causes the change to take place on the right-hand side. But notice the mark still stays on the left. So we have a clean version, edited version on the right, and the annotated version on the left, and we always have a representation of what marks had been there. This becomes really relevant when we've had several different people proofreading the document, such as here. Each person's annotations are represented in a different color. Now, again, once those are all brought in and the overlaid on the annotated version, the editor can then choose which annotations they agree with and they want to execute and which ones not. So by simply selecting the mark, that causes that particular annotation to be executed on the right-hand side. And again, we have the marks grayed out once they've been selected. The key thing here, and this is really important, you'll see this in the example, that if you go back and reselect something that's been grayed out, you have an undo. So this gives us a way to have undo without having to pop the stack. Random access to undo anything that we've done previously. Here we'll change and reinsert while. By selecting while, the grayed out version, it highlights in the left so it's no longer grayed out, and it inserts the word back on the right-hand side. 